welcome to the family what a joy to have you together with us as we worship together i know as we welcomed you to the family some of us this season must have been a very lonely season but we pray as we come together on this online platform you will discover god's presence like never before today you may be going through fear despair hopelessness we are praying that you will experience the power that overcomes all of these things as we enter into a time of worship we pray you'll draw closer to him than ever before let's worship the lord this morning let's give him our praise for the victory is won and he is victorious this morning the weapon may be formed but it won't prosper when the darkness falls it won't prevail cause the god i serve knows only how to triumph oh my god will never fail i say yes
presence Lord that we sense as we have gathered to worship you this morning the King of Kings the Lord of Lords the name above every other name powerful name wonderful name we thank you right now you are there Lord in our homes 
you are manifesting your presence in our midst you are a god who's alive you are a god who inhabits the praise of your people we come as worshipers before you lord this morning lord we want to touch your heart this morning to our songs of praise to our acts of obedience to our love for god to a heart that is longing to hear you be glorified this morning god as your people as we come as worshipers before you we know that your heart is delighted as you see worshipers across the globe this morning god as they watch the service dedicated to the king of kings and the lord of lord we pray lord as we continue to seek your face there will be victory today for your people we will experience breakthrough we will claim victory in the name of jesus lord you know exactly what your people are going through and you are there with them that you will never leave them never forsake them father we thank you for the eternal arms of jesus christ lord you carry us you embrace us you touch us you minister to the very core of our needs and therefore lord your people are looking to you this morning we pray for the situation in our world we ask lord one more time our savior our master the god who spoke the very world into existence god you're a god who's not distant from your people in the world you're very close to them may they sense your presence may they know, may they know that god will never ever hurt them i pray there will be healing i will i pray that there will be hope and encouragement and strength of god for people in our world give wisdom to the leaders of our world particularly in our country lord for our state for our city we pray that you will lord just come and overshadow with your presence once again we thank you for who you are we love you this morning we honor you this morning We give you all the praise and glory in Jesus precious and holy name we pray Amen How do we introduce ourselves Usually we say hi I am our name maybe where we come from and what do we do How does God introduce himself Just recently I came across this beautiful verse in Zechariah 12:1. God introducing himself to his people. He introduces himself by saying, "I am the Lord who stretches out the heavens, who laid the foundation of the earth and formed the human spirit within a person." Just think for a moment. What a beautiful, powerful introduction. I am the God who stretches out the heavens. Everything above us around us that we do not have control over. God says, I am the one who stretched out the heavens. The very earth we stand on and live on. That is what he says, I laid the foundations of the earth. Talk about ourselves. He says, I formed the human spirit within a person so everything that concerns us god says i have the power over it when we think about it our mind is overwhelmed we wonder what kind of a power does god have what is this power power is a powerful word everybody 
want some amount of power. We like to control things. We want to do things. But power can be for good or for evil. If it is in the wrong hands, it can cause great destruction. Recently, we witnessed it. The cyclone Ampan that came just with the wind speed of 185 kilometers per hour, it caused so much of havoc. We were shocked at the disaster. And yet, when there is power to do good, we are overwhelmed. Our hearts are filled with joy. Satan has some power to cause so much of destruction and harm to us. God, our Heavenly Father, is so faithful. He is so good. So power is powerful depending in whose hands it is. In the wrong hands, destruction. In the right hands, transformation. That is power. So not only do we need to think about the purpose of power, but we also need to understand that the person who holds that power, to what extent it can make a difference. It depends on the character of that person. I love the way God introduced himself to Moses. He said, I am the Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. That is our God. That is his character. He is not some berserk person sitting up in heaven with power in his hand that he uses it in any way he wants. No, he is a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. He is a God who is great and mighty. Psalms 147 verse 5 says, Great is the Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limits. How beautiful to know that there is someone who is there who has that power to take charge of every detail. Isaiah 40 verse 25 to 26 it says, God says, who will you compare me with or who is my equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. So here we see our God not only has this overwhelming power, there is none that can compare with him. Isaiah 40 verse 29 says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Our sovereign Lord, Jeremiah 32, 17 says, You have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arms. Nothing is too hard for you. That is our beautiful, powerful God. He says, I am in control. I am waiting and ready. I am compassionate, kind, slow to anger, gracious, abounding in love. So here we have our creator God who is not only all powerful, but he is also a compassionate and gracious God who is ready to carry us and meet us at our point of need. Most of us are petrified of the future. We do not know what the future holds. We do not know how the present is going to move forward. We are worried, we are stressed. Many are filled with fear. Despair is in the air. Hopelessness looms large in front of us. God, our powerful God, our mighty and awesome God tells us, do not worry. I am 
the great I am. I hold the heavens in my hands. The earth is my footstool. My eyes are upon you. I watch you. I know where you are going. I will be with you. Do not fear. The power that God has is a power that can break, that can overcome, that can heal, that can rescue, that can give us victory. Perhaps you are seated right there wondering and saying, I am going through so much. Who can save me? Our God has that power to save us. He has that power to build up that broken pieces of your life. He has that power to overcome and break that addiction in your life. You do not have to be in despair. We do not have to think and say it's over. No, it is not over because the God who holds your life in his hand, who said, yes, I form the human spirit within the person. That God is in control. His power is sufficient to redeem you and me from whatever circumstances we are going through. Dear friend, your life is in safe hands if you only turn to this mighty God, our powerful God who says, come, come to me all of you who are weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. Come, I will teach you. I will help you through. I will hold you by your right hand and tell you which way to go. Yes, one door may be shut. Maybe things all around you are falling apart. But do not fear. I am the God who strengthens you. I will make your feet like the feet of a deer. And I will lead you on heights. That is the God you and I serve. Dear friends, the choice is ours. God, even though he is the all-powerful, mighty, awesome God, our creator, for whom nothing is impossible, yet he has given us the freedom of choice. He will not interfere in our lives unless you and I cry out to him and say, God, I want to surrender my life to you. I want to come before you with my broken pieces. I want to come before you with my hopelessness, with my despair, with my fear. You are the all-powerful God. Will you take charge of my life? I surrender my life to you. Our God, Jesus, is as close as the mention of his name. Call to him right now and let him reach out and touch you. Let him take your life and rebuild it. Let him fill your heart with that hope, with that security that says, my God is with me. Though the storm comes, though it rains, though the flood comes, I will stand strong. I will overcome every hurdle because he will take me through. This too shall pass and I will move ahead. Dear friends, our God is an all-powerful God. He has the power that overcomes every challenge you and I have. The choice lies in our hands. Are you ready to say, God, here I am. Are you ready to take this next few seconds and close your eyes and tell him, Father God, I come before you right now. I confess my life is a mess. I confess I do not know what tomorrow holds, but I am ready to receive all that you have for me. I give the reins of my life into your hands. And from now on, I want to hold your hand and go ahead one step at a time. Teach me. In Jesus' name, amen. Even as we just bring ourselves to look at God, 
want to encourage us to look above and beyond our situations because our God is a God who is faithful. Our God is a God who has a track record of faithfulness. Let's worship Him this morning. We worship you. We praise you this morning. We worship you. We give you our praise.
stands Great is your faithfulness Your faithfulness I'm still in your hands This is my confidence You've never failed me लेकिन हम परमेश्वर का धन्यवाद देते हैं कि वो हमारे साथ है और वो हमारे युद्ध लड़ते हैं मेरा मानना है कि आप सब अच्छे भले हैं दिस मॉर्निंग आई एम गोन शेयर टू इवेंट फ्रॉम द बाइबल आज सुबह मैं बाइबल से दो घटनाएं बांटने वाली हूँ एक पुराने नियम से और एक नए नियम से द फर्स्ट वन इज बैटल पहला युद्ध है युद्ध। का युद। you find that in Second Chronicles chapter 20. दूसरे इतिहास के बीसवें अध्याय में ये घटना लिखी है आप इस अध्याय को बाद में घर पे पढ़ सकते हैं लेकिन अब हम कुछ वचन पढ़ेंगे So it's written over here uh Jehoshaphat's enemies they uh, Moabites and Ammonites they got together and some other ites they got together and declared a war on Jehoshaphat. Isme aisa likha hai ki Jehoshaphat ke desh ke khilaf Ammonio aur Moabio ne aakar ek yuddh ka ghoshna kiya. So in verse 3 it says Alam Jehoshaphat resolved to inquire of the Lord and he proclaimed a fast for all Judah. तो इस वचन में बारवे पद में लिखा हुआ है कि उसने परमेश्वर की खोज की और पूरे यहूदा ने उपवास व्रत रखा ये तो सच है कि यहूसुफात डर गया था Big army coming to fight against him. एक बहुत बड़ा साम्राज्य आ रहा था उससे लड़ने के लिए नताशा विल रीड फॉर अस राइट नाउ वर्स 12 फ्रॉम द सेम चैप्टर हम दूसरे इतिहास बीस का बारह पढ़ेंगे हे हमारे परमेश्वर क्या तू उनका न्याय ना करेगा ये जो बड़ी भीड़ हम पर चल रही है उसका सामना हमारा तो बस नहीं चलता और हमें कुछ सोचता नहीं है कि हम क्या करना चाहिए परंतु हमारी आंखें तेरी ओर लगी है यू कैन सी दिस डेस्परेट क्राइड योर फ्रेंड्स ऑफ यर दोस्तों आपको दिख रहा होगा कि उसकी एक बेकरार क्रंदन है and his total dependence on god aur wo parmeshwar pe puri tarah se nirbhar hai this prayer tells us is prarthna se hame pata chalta hai he was totally dependent on god ki wo parmeshwar pe puri tarah nirbhar tha he trusted god wo parmeshwar pe bharosa karta tha because he knew his limitations kyunki wo apna seema janta tha he knew how weak he was wo janta tha ki wo kitna nirbal hai somewhat like our situation today jaise hamari paristhiti aaj hai nobody knows what to do kisi ko nahi pata ki kya karna hai All the leaders from all over the world are looking for answers. पूरे विश्व के जितने अगुए हैं वो सब जवाब ढूंढ रहे हैं Over over here we see Jehoshaphat he sought the Lord. यहां हम देखते हैं कि यहोसुफात ने परमेश्वर के आगे खोज की When he was alarmed, जब वो चौकित हो गया he sought the Lord. उसने परमेश्वर की खोज की He fasted and prayed. उसने उपवास व्रत रखा He made his people fast and pray. उसने अपने सारे लोगों से कहा कि तुम प्रार्थना और उपवास रखो Then the word of the Lord came to him. और फिर परमेश्वर का वचन उसके पास आया Natasha is going to read for us verse 15 and 17. हम 15 और 17 पद पढ़ेंगे और वो कहने लगे हे सब यहूदियों हे यरूशलेम के रहने वालों हे राजा यहोशुपात तुम सब धन्य दो यहोवा तुम पे क्योंकि यहोवा कहता है तुम इस बड़ी भीड़ से मत डरो और तुम्हारा मन कच्चा ना हो क्योंकि युद्ध तुम्हारा नहीं परमेश्वर का है सत्रह पद में लिखा है इस लड़ाई में तुम्हें लड़ना ना होगा हे यहूदा और हे यरूशलेम ठहरे रहना और खड़े रहकर यहोवा की ओर से अपना बचाव देखना मत डरो और तुम्हारा मन कच्चा ना हो क्योंकि उनका सामना करने को चलने और यहोवा तुम्हारे साथ रहेगा wow, that's how he encouraged Jehoshaphat. ऐसे ही प्रोत्साहन मिला यहोसफात को And then we see in verse 22, और बाईसवें पद में हम देखते हैं हम पढ़ेंगे बाईसवा पद जिस समय वे 
गाकर स्तुति करने लगे उसी समय यहोवा ने अमोनियो मुआबियो और शेर के पहाड़ी देश के लोगों पर जो यहूदा के विरोध आ रहे थे घातकों को बैठा दिया और वो मारे गए Amen. God fought Jehoshaphat's battle. Amen. Parmeshwar Jehoshaphat ka yudh lar raha tha. And in verse 30 it says and the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was at peace for his God had given him rest on every side. Aur teesre tees ke pad mein likha hua hai aur Jehoshaphat ke rajya ko chain mila kyunki uske Parmeshwar ne usko charon or se vishram diya. God fights our battles dear friends. Dosto Parmeshwar hamara yudh ladte hai. He knows our challenges. Wo jante hai hamari chunauti kya hai. He knows what we are going through right now. Wo hamari paristhiti ko jante hai abhi. What is your battle today? Aaj aapka yudh kya hai? What are you battling with today? Aaj aap kin cheezon se sangharsh kar rahe hai? Psalm 34 verse 19 says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of them all. भजन संगीत चौतीस के उन्नीस में लिखा है धर्मी पर बहुत सी विपत्तियां पड़ती है परंतु यहोवा उसको उन सब में से मुक्त करता है आमेन आमेन वट एवर बैटल यूर फेसिंग टूडे डियर फ्रेंड्स गॉड इज गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू दोस्तों आज आपकी संघर्ष आपकी चुनौती जो भी हो परमेश्वर आपको उद्धार देगा to find, fight this battle alone. आपको अकेले इस युद्ध को लड़ने की जरूरत नहीं है Jesus will fight it for you. Yeshu aapke liye ladenge. And with God on our side. Aur jab Parmeshwar aapke aur hai. Victory is assured for us. Ye to nischay hai ki vijay aapka hoga. Dear friends, dosto, God hasn't created us so that we may just struggle and struggle and lead a defeated life. Parmeshwar ne is wajah se hamari srishti nahi ki ki hum sirf sangharsh karte rahe aur ek asfal jeevan jiye. No friends, ji nahi dosto. Not at all. Bilkul nahi. God has created us for his glory. Parmeshwar ne hame uski mahima ke liye rakha hai. So that we may have fellowship with him. Ki unke sath hamari sahabhagita ho. And worship him. Aur unki aradhna kare. So worship God. To aap Parmeshwar ki aradhna kare. Have fellowship with him. Unke sath sahabhagita rakhe. Don't allow the enemy to control your thoughts and life. Shatru ko aap niyantran na de ki aapki zindagi aur aapke soch pe wo kabu paaye. You don't have to fight this battle alone. Aapko ye yudh akela ladne ki zarurat nahi hai. God is going to fight for you. Parmeshwar aapke liye ladenge. That was one event that I shared from the Old Testament. God fought for Jehoshaphat. पुराने नियम से ये एक घटना थी जब परमेश्वर यहोसफात का युद्ध लड़ा था. Second event we're going to look from the New Testament. नए नियम से हम देखते हैं एक और घटना है. In Acts 27, प्रेरित की पुस्तक 27 में. We find Paul and all the sailors. They were caught in a storm. हम देखते हैं कि साधु पॉलोस और उसके साथ जहाज पर जितने लोग थे एक आंधी में फंस गए थे. It was a terrible storm. बहुत ही बुरा आंधी तूफान चल रहा था. A very strong wind was coming from the opposite direction. और तेज हवा आ रही थी दूसरे तरफ से. And it was very, it was a struggle to stay on course. और ये बहुत ही मुश्किल था उनके लिए कि वो मार्ग पे चलते रहे. The ship was tossed by the waves and rocked by violent wind. जहाज उथल पुथल हो रही थी और बहुत बड़े लहरे उसे डुबा देने की कोशिश कर रही थी As the story goes on, it grows worse and worse. और जैसे कहानी आगे बढ़ती है बद से बदतर हो जाती है हालत इट बिकम्स बैड और बुरी हो जाती है एंड फॉर मेनी डेज द क्लाउड हेड कवर द सन एंड द स्टार्स और बहुत दिनों के लिए सूरज और ढक गया था और सितारे भी ढक गए थे And it was dark everywhere. और घोर अंधेरा था Which made navigation impossible. जिसके लिए पथ प्रदर्शन बहुत मुश्किल हो गया था As a result, they lost direction. इस वजह से वो मार्गदर्शक नहीं कर पा रहे थे नो जी पी एस देन उन दिनों में कोई जी पी एस नहीं था फोर्टीन डेज द स्टॉम रेज चौदह दिनों के लिए ये आंधी चलती रही Can you imagine being in such a violent storm for फोर्टीन days? क्या आप सोच रहे ऐसे आंधी के बीच आप चौदह दिनों के लिए फंसे हैं We had amphan for a few hours. कुछ घंटों के लिए हमारे शहर में अम्फन आया था. And we know the fear and destruction it caused. और हमें पता है कि कितना भय और बर्बादी आया था उसके साथ. We are still recovering from it. हम अभी भी उससे उभरने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं. Fear, despair and hopelessness is all that they experienced. Paul and his friends. ऐसे हालात में केवल डर, हताशा और निराशा क्यों महसूस किया पॉलस ने और उसके दोस्तों ने. In the midst of this situation, Paul seems to be quite calm and peaceful. इस समस्या के बीच में भी साधु पॉलस बहुत ही शांत है When all had given up hope, Paul had a word from the Lord. जब सब ने उम्मीद छोड़ दी तब साधु पॉलस के पास परमेश्वर की ओर से एक वचन था God always had a, has a word for us. परमेश्वर के पास हमारे लिए हमेशा एक वचन है His word is in the Bible. उनका वचन बाइबल में है What was Paul doing during the storm? इस आंधी के दौरान पॉलुस क्या कर रहा था? I'm sure he was helping around wherever help was needed. मेरा मानना है कि जहां भी मदद चाहिए वो मदद कर रहे थे. 
But he was in constant touch with his creator, master and savior. लेकिन वो लगातार संपर्क में थे अपने सृष्टिकर्ता स्वामी और उद्धारकर्ता के साथ. The sun was hidden by the clouds. जो सूरज था वो तो बादलों से ढक गया था. But you know what? लेकिन आप जानते हैं एक बात. The sun, S O N, sun was shining brightly in Paul's heart. पुत्र पॉल उसके जीवन में और उसके हृदय में चुमक रहा था. God was working in his heart. परमेश्वर उसके हृदय में काम कर रहा था। वो उससे बातें कर रहा था और बहुत खूबसूरती से उसकी अगुवाई कर रहा था। पॉल उस जानता था कि परमेश्वर की सामर्थ क्या है। कैसे परमेश्वर ने लाल समुद्र को दो भाग कर दिया था। और बहुत सारे अश्चर्य काम जो उसने किए हैं। जब यीशु अपने शिष्यों के साथ थे, तो उन्होंने आंधी और तूफान को रोक दिया था। मेरा ये मानना है कि पॉलस ने भी यीशु से कहा होगा कि इस आंधी और तूफान को थाम दो। लेकिन यीशु ने ऐसा नहीं किया। Instead, he gave him a powerful word. बल्कि उसे एक वचन दिया जो सामर्थी था. And he gave them the power of endurance. और उसे धीरज की क्षमता दी. And the word is this. और वो वचन ये है. Natasha is going to read for us from verse 22 to 25. ये प्रेरित के काम 27 के 22 से 25 में पढ़ूँगी. परंतु अब मैं तुम्हें समझाता हूँ कि धादस बांधो क्योंकि तुम में से किसी का प्राण की हानि नहीं होगी केवल जहाज की होगी क्योंकि परमेश्वर जिसका मैं हूं और जिसकी सेवा करता हूं उसके स्वर्गदूत ने आज रात मेरे पास आकर कहा हे पॉलस मत डर तुझे कैसर के सामने खड़ा होना अवश्य है और देख परमेश्वर ने सब को जो तेरे साथ यात्रा करते हैं तुझे दे दिया है इसलिए हे सज्जनो धादस बांधो क्योंकि मैं परमेश्वर की प्रतीति करता हूं कि जैसा मुझसे कहा गया है वैसा ही होगा वाओ नॉट वन ऑफ यू विल बी लॉस्ट एक भी कि प्राण हानि नहीं होगी। That's the word for us today। ये वचन हमें दिया जाता है। If you are a child of God, अगर आप परमेश्वर के संतान हैं, you will not be lost। आप नहीं खोए जाएंगे। No one can snatch you away from God। परमेश्वर के हाथों से आपको कोई नहीं छीन सकता। That's what Jesus says in John 10:28। ये यीशु भी कहते हैं योहन्ना 10 के 28 में। Again, Paul had another word from the Lord। पॉल उसके पास परमेश्वर की ओर से एक और वचन था। At this difficult time, ऐसे मुसीबत के घड़ी में, when they they were fighting at the storm, जब वो आंधी से लड़ रहे थे, God kept encouraging him with His word। परमेश्वर उन्हें अपने वचन से प्रोत्साहित करते रहे। God sends His word at the right time। परमेश्वर अपना वचन सही समय पे भेजते हैं। The second time the word came from from the Lord, it is in verse thirty-four. दूसरी बार जब परमेश्वर का वचन आता है, वो प्रेरित के काम सताईस के चौतीस में लिखा है। It is written, it is written, not one of you will lose a single hair from his head. ऐसा लिखा है कि क्योंकि तुम में से किसी के सर के एक बाल भी ना गिरेगा। Reminds me of the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. मुझे Shadrach, Meshach और Abednego की कहानी याद आती है। How God protected them. कैसे परमेश्वर ने उनकी सुरक्षा की थी। Friends, Jesus protects us. दोस्तों यीशु हमारी रक्षा करते हैं। And as the story goes, और जैसे ये कहानी आगे बढ़ती है, they reach the land safely. वो भूमि तक पहुंच गए सुरक्षित। God kept His word. परमेश्वर ने अपना वादा पूरा किया। Always keeps His word. वो हमेशा अपने बात के से नहीं मुकरते हैं। If they reach the land safely, जब वे भूमि सुरक्षित तौर पे पहुंच गए, we will also reach safely. हम भी सुरक्षित तौर पे पहुंच जाएंगे। Amen. We serve the same God. हम उसी परमेश्वर की आराधना करते हैं। And I am sure we will live to tell our children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren about the pandemic and how God is with us and helped us through it all. और मेरा ये मानना है कि हम अपने बच्चों और उनके बच्चों से बताएंगे कि इस महामारी के दौरान हम कैसे जिए थे और परमेश्वर ने हमारी कैसी अगवाई और मदद की थी। God is all powerful. परमेश्वर सर्वशक्तिमान है। He fights our battles. वो हमारे युद्ध लड़ते हैं। He protects us. वो हमारी रक्षा करते हैं। And he empowers us through the power of the Holy Spirit. और वो पवित्र आत्मा के द्वारा हमें सामर्थ देते हैं। Isaiah 40 verse 29 says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. यशाया के पुस्तक 40 के 29 में लिखा हुआ है, वो थके हुए को बल देता है और शक्तिहीन को बहुत सामर देता है। I know all of us need the power of God today। मैं जानता हूँ कि आज सब को परमेश्वर की शक्ति की ज़रूरत है। Romans 10:13 says, रोमियों के 10 के 13 में लिखा है, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved। क्योंकि जो कोई प्रभु का नाम लेगा, वो उधार पाएगा। So friends, you don't have to lead a defeated life. You don't have to live in fear. Thinking what's going to happen tomorrow. तो दोस्तों आपको एक हारी हुई जीवन और कल की डर से जीने की जरूरत नहीं है। You don't be a victim of circumstances and situations that surround you. आपके चारों ओर जो हालात और परिस्थिति हैं, आपको उनका शिकार बनने की जरूरत नहीं है। God wants you to be a victor and overcomer. परमेश्वर चाहते हैं कि आप जयवंत बने। 
God will give you that power of endurance. Parmeshwar aapko wo dheeraj ki shakti denge. And this power is also an ongoing power that God gives us. Aur ye jo shakti hai ye chalti hui shakti hai jo Parmeshwar hame deti hai. Every day we need God's power. Har roz hame Parmeshwar ki shakti ki zarurat hai. I pray that this time of ours these days will be well spent in his presence. Meri ye prarthna hai ki ye din hum aise guzarenge unki upasthiti mein acche taur pe. Where we go deeper in our relationship with our Lord. Jo hum Parmeshwar ke sath apne sampark mein aur gehre ho jaye. Have a better understanding of his word and his ways. Unke vachan ko unke raaston ko hum aur behtar tarike se samjhe. I want to share one more verse with us. Ek aur vachan hai jo main aapke sath bata chahti hu. I say 40 verse 31. Ye shaya ki pustak 40 ka 31. You see friends the caterpillar grows wings during a season of isolation aap dekhiye dosto jo kamla hota hai titli ka chhota roop wo algaaf ke mausam mein pankh baratha hai my prayer is also this during these days as we wait upon the lord we will grow in the lord and our faith muscles will grow meri ye prarthna hai ki in dino hamari bhi vishwas badhegi aur hum parmeshwar mein aur badhenge isaiah 4031 says शाया की पुस्तक 40 के 31 में कहता है बट दो होप इन दॉर्ड विल रिन्यू द स्ट्रेंथ परंतु जो यहुआ की बात जो होता है वो नया बल प्राप्त करेंगे दे विल सोर ऑन विंग्स लाइक ईगल्स दे विल रन एंड नॉट ग्रो वियरी दे विल वॉक एंड नॉट फेंट वो उकाबो की नाए उड़ेंगे वो दौड़ेंगे और शमित ना होंगे चलेंगे और थकेंगे नहीं यू सी फ्रेंड ईगल इज द सिंबल ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एंड पावर देखिए दोस्तों उकाब से हमें पता चलता है कि वो एक चिन्ह है सामर्थ्य और शक्ति की इट फ्लाइज वेरी हाई इन द स्काई वो आसमान में ऊंचा उड़ता है फॉर आवर्स इट्स ग्लाइडिंग फार अब द अर्थ बहुत घंटों के लिए वो आसमान में ऊंचा उड़ता है एज वी वेट अपॉन द लॉर्ड जैसे हम परमेश्वर की उपस्थिति में इंतजार करते हैं, जब ये पूरी लॉकडाउन खत्म हो जाती है जब ये परिस्थिति खत्म हो जाती है, जब हम बाहर निकलते हैं लाइक एन ईगल हम उकाब की तरह उड़ेंगे ऊंचे God wants us to be trail blazers for him. Parmeshwar chahte hain ki hum is prithvi pe unka nishan chhode. God hasn't created just like that. Parmeshwar ne bas aise hi hamari rachna nahi ki. God loves us. Parmeshwar humse prem karte hain. He has a plan for us. Hamare liye ek uddeshya hai. He wants us to live for him. Wo chahte hain hum unke liye jiye. And he wants us to serve him. Aur chahte hain ki hum unki sevkai kare. And as we wait upon him. Aur jaise hum intezar karte hain. We're going to be strong. Hum balwan bane. and we're going to move forward aur aage badhe and we're going to do what god wants us to do aur hum wo karenge jo parmeshwar chahte hain so if you are discouraged today to aaj subah agar aap nirash hai call upon the lord parmeshwar ko pukare call upon the lord parmeshwar ko pukare he is all powerful wo sarvashaktiman hai he has the power to help you unke paas samarth hai ki wo aapki madad kare he is going to fight your battles wo aapke yuddh ladenge he will protect you wo aapko surakshit rakhenge he will empower you wo aapko samarth denge you don't have to live in fear aapko dar mein jeene ki zarurat nahi hai paul did not live in fear paul us dar mein nahi jee raha tha it was a terrible situation wo bahut buri paristhiti thi they could have died any moment wo kisi bhi pal mar sakte the god had told him परमेश्वर ने उनसे कहा दैट द शिप विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड कि ये जहाज डूब जाएगा सो दे कुड हैव बीन थिंकिंग ही कुड हैव थिंकिंग द नेक्स्ट वेव दैट कम्स इज गोइंग टू डिस्ट्रॉय हिम हो सकता है पॉलस ऐसा सोच सकता था कि आने वाली लहरें उसे भी डुबा दें बट हिज फोकस वाज नॉट ऑन दैट लेकिन उसका ध्यान उस बात पे नहीं था फोकस वाज इन गॉड उसका ध्यान परमेश्वर पे था जोसफात सेड और जैसे यहोसुफात ने कहा वी कांट फेस दिस वास्ट आर्मी हम इस बड़ी सेना का मुकाबला खुद से नहीं कर सकते We don't know what to do. हम नहीं जानते कि हम क्या करें our eyes are upon you. लेकिन हमारी नजरें आप पे टिकी हुई है God loves you, friends. परमेश्वर आपसे प्रेम करते हैं दोस्तों Focus on him. आप उन पे नजरें टिकाए रखें our eyes be fixated in him. हमारी आंखें उनकी ओर रहे God loves us. परमेश्वर हमसे प्रेम करते हैं और वो हमारी मदद करेंगे God bless you. परमेश्वर आपको आशीष दे आई डोंट नो अबाउट यू but as i listened to pastor cynthia and pastor krishna speak i thought to myself aren't you glad ladies that god doesn't only speak through men he uses and anoints women as well and what a blessing those two handmaidens of god are to this church and what a powerful message we serve an all powerful god wow leaves me breathless just to think about the incredible limitless power of the god whom you and i call father father yes he's the god for whom nothing is impossible yes 
nothing is impossible he god can do anything but make sure when you make that statement that you add the phrase anything he wants to do god can and will do anything he wants to do he not won't necessarily do what you and i want him to do i know that's a hard pill to swallow but sometimes we get confused about that and not only that beloved please remember just because god is all powerful that doesn't make you or i all powerful we are human beings the greatest man or woman of god is merely a human being in the eyes and in the hands of a mighty god that's why it's so important to remember the words of isaiah 40 verse 31 that we must wait upon the lord just like the eagle waits for the wind that is mightier than the mightiest eagle's wings so also we wait on the lord and as we wait upon the lord his wind the wind of his spirit lifts us up and then we are able to do the things that the wind of god leads us to do the wind of god wants us to do so join me in prayer this morning as we bring this beautiful powerful service to a close our heavenly father i know that across the miles there are many who are watching this program this service this morning and as they watch lord they are crying out to you for something that seems to them impossible and lord we have seen over and over again that which is impossible to men and women is not impossible to you and lord whatever be the needs that people are crying out to you for this morning as they lift their voices to you in prayer won't you hear them loving father won't you touch them with just a finger of your power for some of us that that's all we need one touch that will bring healing to the sick body one touch that will open the windows of heaven and shower provision one touch that will bring deliverance to the captive yes lord as we lift our voices to you in prayer this morning hear us when we cry out to you lord for you're the god who's all powerful almighty you can do and will do anything that you choose to do so we hold up all of your promises before you and we claim those promises in your presence and we ask you lord do it again do it one more time you've done it a hundred million times before do it once again in my life in the life of my family we pray there's giving you thanks and praise in your precious and mighty name lord jesus all god's people said amen thank you friends for joining us in this wonderful service may god's presence be with you and fill your home amen what a assurance we have that we have a power that overcomes fear despair hopelessness the all powerful god a God who's concerned for us, a God who's with us. We pray this message of hope will be with you through this week, regardless of the circumstances you face. We pray for a great week ahead of you, and we are praying that whatever you do, wherever you go, the presence of God goes with you. If you'd like to uh, make an online offering, please click on the gift tab. If you have a prayer request you'd like to share with us, Please text us, call us. We'll be glad to stand with you in prayer. God bless you. Have a great week.